Hi, Christina. Um, my name's Christina, and my wife Terry talked to you a couple hours ago about getting this video over on how to set your company above your competition and just some things that I noticed on your website um, that you'll want to work on in order to get yourself ranked higher than, than your competitors. So I'm going to jump right into it. If you wouldn't mind just giving me some feedback at the end of it, either um, in the comments or by emailing or calling me at 816-323-4100. I sent a lot of these out and I just want to make sure that they're helpful for people and that I'm not wasting people's time. So getting into it, we're going to talk about content, citations, and backlinks. With content, the average website needs 1,000 to 1,500 words in order to be optimized with Google. And you want to have that on your front page um, just because that's where a majority of your backlinks are going to go to. So I went and copied your, your content into a word counter and I noticed that it says you guys have 1,300 words, um, and I realized that it doesn't look like you have 1,300 words, like it looks like you probably have a couple hundred. And so I found where you guys, I don't know if your website designer did this or um, if you have an SEO person already, uh, but they basically put all of the keywords that you would want to do into super small text and then kind of hit it in here. Um, this is a really old school SEO technique that I wish still worked. Uh, because it seems pretty simple and it makes it a lot easier than trying to fit some of these keywords into your content. Um, but if Google finds this and if I found it, I know Google will, um, they will actually sandbox you. And what sandboxing is, is you might be ranking now, but as soon as they crawl your page and find this and they find that that's not actually built into your content, um, and it actually hurts you also to have your keywords uh, consecutive like this. Um, so just so you could see it because you can't read it from here. So all of these, all of these keywords are what that little tiny little font is. And when they see this in here, um, they call this keyword stuffing. And so it won't happen right away. You might even start ranking number one for a handful of these keywords. But as soon as Google finds out, they're going to drop you down to like 10th page and it's going to hurt you. So um, really would work on deleting this part as much as like <laughs> it's really convenient to do and actually starting to build some of this content naturally. You want to have uh, a keyword about every 100 to 150 words of content, um, if not closer to 200, just to make sure that it's not keyword stuffing. And so that would be my first suggestion in getting up to that thousand words of natural looking content where people can actually read it and uh, getting that on your first page. Um, the, and you know, no hard feelings or anything. I get it. it I wish that I could do that with all the stuff, with all the pages I make, and that's what SEO people used to do to sneak them in, um, but now Google does not appreciate that anymore. So any any kind of shortcuts we can take, they don't they don't want us to do. They want it to be as natural as possible. So I uh, went ahead and pulled up bathroom modeling out bot bleh, can't talk today bathroom remodeling Alpharetta. And if you see here, um, it would definitely benefit to be on the front page, and then the nut couple few first spots because you're getting 50 searches a month just for this one keyword. So that's 50 potential customers you guys are missing out on by not organically being ranked. Now you guys are number two in the map pack and I'm going to talk to you in just a second about how you could beat out your competitors for the number one spot. So your competitors, Alpharetta, Georgia, they have 940 words. So they're just under that thousand. They could probably get away with it. Um, but just by starting out with your thousand, you should, you should be able to beat them out. So the next thing I want to talk about here is the Google Map Pack. And with the Google Map Pack, this is where you have your business name, address, and phone number listed with your Google My Business. And the way that you can rank higher than your competitors is getting citations. And what a citation is is when you submit your information in directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, City Star, Thumbtack, etc. So right now you guys are in the number two spot. And you'll see here that they're in uh, Roswell and you're listed as Alpharetta. So you don't have to necessarily you know, be the closest, even though it does look like they're a little closer right here. Um, but it doesn't matter like how many reviews they have or anything like that, as long as you have more citations. So what I would do is I would Google avatar contractor group and then see like with their phone number and then see all the different directories that they're listed under in the Google search. And then just go get listed under those same directories because if it works for them, it'll work for you. And then if they have 40, I would go after 80 or 120. Like you always want to blow your competition out of the water, not just beat them by a little bit. The last thing I want to talk about are backlinks. And we call this link juice and it simply works like site A 
points to site B, site A is the link juice that gives site B more authority in Google's eyes, almost like a popularity contest. Now you can have more sites coming in, but there's more to it than that. Link juice is more effective if you have relative site linking back to you. For example, a blog post about bathroom remodeling is going to give you guys a lot more authority and power than a blog post about pizza because you guys don't sling pizzas for a living. So currently with uh, this tool here, you guys can go out and get it yourself. It's called Arefs, A -H -R -E -F -S com. It's a little over $100 a month, um, but it gives a good breakdown of what your site's doing. And right now you guys have 33 referring domains with 308 backlinks. And your competitors have 65 and 89. So you're probably wondering, well, I've got more, right? But you only get the power from the referring domains one time. So you really want this to be closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. So they're getting really high quality backlinks um, and, they're, and they're relevant to whatever services they offer. And you guys have like, I mean, a one to 10 ratio. And you'll see here that these numbers aren't close to a one-to-one -one ratio either. And that just means you have a lot of spammy backlinks too. So what I recommend is going in and clicking on what these guys have and figuring out what blogs they're getting listed under and then go after this, see how they're mostly blog posts. So those give you the most power. So I would go after those and uh, figure out what it would take to get your guys' website listed under those same blogs. Because again, if it works for them, it'll work for you. So in closing, we talked about content, getting that 1,000 to 1,500 words on your front page, but making sure that it's all like, readable um, and uh, getting some of those keywords built in more naturally and then citations getting listed under those different directories and then link juice making sure that you're getting you know those high quality um, links that are not spammy so if you have any questions about this you can give me a call 816-323-4100 again my name is christina i'm with kc phoenix seo and if this is something you feel like you just don't have time for or you just don't grasp it or you need some help on it give me a call i'd love to put a plan together for you thanks for watching my video